ones, so. <laughs> <laughs> Are those the ones you're gonna use with the scent? This is where I shoved the cotton in. Yep. I just put a little... Put a little scent in there, a little scent trail. Yeah, quite a bit actually. About four cc's, five cc's. Okay. So Marlon's come up with a thing where he's actually using a, his floats and then adding, I think you said cotton balls in there, and then that's kind of holding the scent uh, above the rig, right? Yeah, I just use a hypodermic needle and shove the... the Trail, scent trail stuff in, and we're gonna find out. <laughs> cool. We are trolling for catfish, and uh, not a very common sight, but it's a really productive way to catch them. We've got planer boards out. We've got Marlin's famous uh, Herbie floats out there. Kind of gets the bait out away from the boat, and then we've got planer boards on each side. And that gives us some horizontal, uh, bigger horizontal coverage area. Instead of just running all our baits and all our lines below the boat, we got them spread way out. Probably about, oh, a good, I don't know, 40 foot, 50 foot swath, I suppose. Closer to 100 today. Or 100? Yeah. It's yep. close. Santee Cooper. And we got two more boards that we'll put out it will be in between these floats where they'll be riding. So. Okay so we'll end up running like six different lines and we got uh, what we got today is fresh uh, cut up brim or bluegill or sunfish. Get my shadow out of the way. We're using heads, tails and, and little 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 chunks. And blue cats really like that that sunfish right? Yeah, that's, that's one of the top baits. We have the white perch in here too, and that, that's a very good bait also. And you're using, I know other times I've fished with you, you've had uh, like mullet, and we got some shiners today. And uh, <clears throat> so we're just running real slow with the trolling motor, the Minn Kota here. We're running at about, what, about 0 .6, 0 0.7 miles an hour, looks like. Check you again when we get a bite. Okay, I'm gonna let's get a shot of that rig quick actually. So this is uh Marlin's famous uh trolling rig, Santee Cooper style. Or his own style. So we got a float above it with does that one have a rattle in it now? No, this is nope. the one with the scent in it. Okay, the that's scent. that's got the scent. And then we've got uh, a homemade uh sinker right there, a snagless sinker that Marlin makes himself. Uh, it ticks right above the snags and the rocks and everything. Or I don't know about rocks, but snags anyways. This yeah. normally hooks right to the where the three-way is, but I'm trying this with a drop weight on there. Okay. And let it back about 80 feet or so because <clears throat> All right. it's actually riding quite high, but that that float is going to fill up with water and start releasing scent here in a little while. Hopefully, that this is an experiment. Understand? <laughs> and Captain Marlin is famous for his experiments. He makes his own hooks, and and is pretty deadly with his different rigs. But so what we're doing is is uh, we're running scent, some scent trail by ripping lips. And we're actually, he's actually injecting it into that float, kind of creating a, a scent trail above the bait to kind of call the, theoretically at least call the catfish in and where they'll, they'll find that cut sunfish and, and then get hooked on that circle hook.